What's up guys? Welcome to Wagwell Friends English. This is Amber and Josh. And today we're going to do something to apply our last video. Yeah. So today we're going to talk about uh, using ger gerunds and infinitives in a natural conversation because here at Wagwell Friends English, we believe that the best method is a communicative approach to learning English, English which means that we need to be able to learn something and then be able to actually use it, not just to pass a test, but to actually use it in communication. So today the video is going to be a little bit different uh, because I'm not going to edit it as heavily because I want you guys to see what a natural English conversation looks like, at least between us. Yeah, for sure. So I really want you guys to focus on what you're hearing. I want you to hear the patterns of the questions that we ask each other and how the other one responds. Uh, primarily the first sentence they respond with because you I want you to see and hear be able to see and hear without much effort the the pattern following the pattern between the two um, it's very important to be able to do that yourselves and that's going to be what takes you from high beginner to low intermediate fairly quickly in terms of basic conversation. So we do have these questions listed and we have them ready to go but we have not practiced the answers. Not so. at all. I want you guys to be able to see what it's like when two people are talking and having a natural conversation. For sure. Now, we also want you to really note some key phrases here. And I want you to hear them and notice the difference in the way that we respond. Because these are going to come up in how we speak. When you say, when you say that you don't, you agree on something that you don't enjoy or that you can't stand together. You're going to say either me either or I don't either. Mm. Neither and either. These are kind of confusing, very minute difference in terms of pronunciation, but listen as we go. Um, we also want you to hear me too, or me me also, or I also enjoy that. Mm. Uh, I want you to hear the difference between I like something versus I love something, mm. or I don't like this versus I, I hate this, mm. or I can't stand this. Mm. Okay, there's big differences there in terms of nuances, all right? Somebody might say, I love pizza, but they also say, I love my kids. So... Notice the way that we emphasize and the, the pair of language we use as we're doing those. I'd also want you to hear, for those of you who are intermediate and up, I want you to hear, I'd rather not. Mm. So, or I'd never do that versus I'd rather not. Feel mm. the difference in those as we speak. Yeah. All right. So let's just, let's just start. Okay. What is something that you really like to do? I am a nerd. Because I really, really like to read nonfiction books and watch nonfiction YouTube videos. I really enjoy the process of just laid back researching for anything, really. You really, you, she really likes doing very useful things. I do. It's restful to me. Like if I have a list and I finish that list, man, it's been a good day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not like that. I I really like to be able to not just shut my brain off, but be able to do something where I don't have to necessarily be thinking about strategies or learning new information or doing lots of research. I don't I don't find that fun. But I'm also in graduate school now, so yeah. So it's a little different. A little bit. So what is something that you like to do to just really just chill? Like, what is your peak? This is how I really enjoy resting. For me, it's it the probably the best thing would just be able to play a board game with my friends because mm -hmm. for me, I really like people and I like talking with my friends. Yeah. And uh, me and my best friend growing up, we would have this thing where we would play a game, and it would be like a it would be an intellectual like exercise for us to be able to like <laughs> almost wrestle with one another as we're playing this game. What he means is they were complete dirtbags to one another. And then they had to, they had to like work their way around and try to get out of the evil scheme of the other one. That's what he means. Yeah. It, it's like wrestling. I feel like where it's like, if the person is better at you or smarter than you or more strategic than you, then you get, then they win, but it's a, it's a game. So it's, it's very social but it's also very intellectual. <laughs> I feel like it engages like lots of different, different parts of my brain. It, it does. But I would say like, I don't know. It's just hilarious. You guys are complete jerks to one another. <laughs> but so I, I do like playing games. But what kind of games are you into? If I play a game, I did not grow up playing games other than Risk and Monopoly. So again, strategy. <laughs> 
Oh, Monopoly. I mean, it depends on who you're talking to, what, how strategic that is. But we enjoy strategy games. So when I got to university and hung around our friend group, everybody was so different from one another, but we all enjoyed playing video, like not video games, but board games with one another. And I really enjoyed that too. I, but for the strategy part, I'm a very quiet person mm -hmm. in groups. And so I was always like really quiet person. Everybody would be like destroying one another, and then I would win because this 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 <laughs> this woman right here, she would be so quiet that everybody would almost forget that she's there. And then at the end of the game, she would have she would win because I would be like, oh, turn around, and she's just like flying right past and right yeah. to the finish line. Yeah. So that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> but I really enjoy those strategy games. In terms of video games, though, I really like the big 4X space games. I never have time for them, but I really enjoy things like Stellaris and Distant Worlds and just there's so many things to think of and you have to put them together just right to achieve the right strategy. But there's multiple ways that you can play. So you can play each game completely differently. So yeah. I enjoy that part. What about for, video games? For me, as far as video games goes, it still kind of goes back to the idea of like social gaming. Like, mm -hmm. me and my brothers growing up, we didn't really have internet, and so it was very much like, if you wanted to have entertainment, you played this really old game that was maybe only two-player, and <laughs> you had to play it with another person. For me, I actually like that kind of, those kind of video games. So, for example, um, we played a game when I was a kid called Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, oh and it was very much just, just you and your friends playing together. Uh, but there's other games where it's just kind of like fighting monsters or whatever. And it's, yeah. you're on a team. That's the cool thing that I've mm. thought. I'm not super big into player versus player games, um, like, you know, 2K or something like that, right. but, or 4K, or no, it's, yeah, yeah 2K. It's 2K. <laughs> uh, but I, I do like, I, I, yeah, I like that cooperative uh, yeah. co-play kind of thing. Yeah, you do. But what about sports? Like, if you like all the strategy and playing together with people, why don't you enjoy sports as much? The thing, I, the thing is, I do enjoy sports. I enjoy playing sports. I do not enjoy watching sports because oh, honestly, my my, my knowledge on sports is is pretty slow. So, but <laughs> when I'm out there playing basketball, which I'm really bad at, or playing soccer or football, which I'm really bad at, I enjoy <laughs> it. But I'm just really bad at it. You enjoy the people part, people. not necessarily the strategy and the right. rules. Part. I don't. I don't re really see the strategy in a lot of a lot of games, which is wrong because there is there is a lot of strategy in like sports. Yeah. But I don't say. So, but let's switch it. What about what is something that you don't enjoy doing? Goodness, I don't enjoy doing things that are super super repetitive without a point. <laughs> So like the games that you just described, like those like hack and slash games and things like that. I'm not a fan of those because they seem kind of pointless to me, Yeah. which you can make an argument that all video games are pointless. But if your point is to rest and to not think of something so serious for a few minutes, then it kind of makes sense. But I feel like the epitome of a game that you probably wouldn't like is League of Legends. Because yeah. again, it's you very repetitive again, again, again and again and again. Yeah. And so the idea is hopefully, you know, you get better over time and you have lots of good communication with your team. So I think I would kind of like it. My brother likes it, but that's like, that's like the exact opposite <laughs> of the games that you enjoy. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. What about you? Um, something, uh, are we talking about video games or just anything? Anything. That, um, that you really don't enjoy. Dishes? <laughs> <laughs> no. I think I don't, I really don't enjoy, I don't I don't really do. It's weird. I really don't. Driving, maybe. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't really enjoy driving. I think there are certain things that are boring that are okay to do yeah. because that's just, you know, that's the life you live, dishes, clothes, laundry. But for me, I actually don't enjoy driving. Like, I feel like I can do other things while somebody else is driving and I can have all that time, that hours and hours of time spent driving doing something else. Yeah. And it really works out because I get car sick very easily since we lived in China and since having kids. I don't know why, but I get really car sick pretty easily. So it works out. I'll drive and he'll do something productive while we drive. So yeah. it's pretty. Works out. So what is something that you just can't stand like a pet peeve mm. can't stand i can't this is going to sound embarrassing right? but <laughs> i can't stand chalk oh yeah that's my thing <laughs> i i don't i do not i hate 
I hate the texture, the feel of chalk because it's just so dry, gritty, mm -hmm. dusty. And I like I can dust, I can clean, I can sweep, but it's just something about that. Not not that, you know, people always say, oh, it's the nails on a chalkboard thing. Like, no, no, it's not that. It's just the crumbly, dry nature of the chalk. If anybody else is out there that can agree with me, please comment in the comments below because... He's, he's pretty in the... There's I'm, not many people that agree with no, him in our circles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm seen as a weirdo because I was like, oh, chalk, ooh, Josh, look chalk. <laughs> what about you? What's something you cannot stand? <sighs> I don't like the when there's a lot of irregular shaped holes together, mm. um, like a wasp nest, like it's up in the corner or something. You'll have like these different holes. When I see it, for some reason, oh, even thinking about it now, it makes me want to grit my teeth. Mm. I've never met anybody else like that. So if you were like that, also please comment below and let me know <laughs> because I'm curious. So far, I'm the only person that I know of that's been like that. We mm. haven't met anybody else, and it's something he brings up all the time. So. Yeah. He thinks it's super interesting. <laughs> I'm just like, stop. <laughs> so one more. What are some things that you have to do, but you really don't like to do? That I have to do or that I would, I really oh, would rather not do, that's, right? Yes. We, you would rather not do that you have to do. I would really rather not that I have to. So for me, I guess it would be like driving, right? Like I'd rather okay. not have to drive. So would automatic cars be good for you? Yeah, I, I, I know that there's a lot of heckling out there for, you know, self-driving cars and stuff like that. But, yeah, it's a task that I don't want to have to do. Mm, interesting. I, I, I couldn't be... trust it. Like, I'm not going to I'm not gonna lie, but the roads outside our room right now are really icy. I don't necessarily want to trust that to a computer, but I would rather not have to drive. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. I don't know if I, I don't know. I have a hard time putting my kids in a car mm. that I'm not controlling. I mean, but... that's true. Yeah. But for you, what would you rather not have to do? <laughs> that's what you have to do. Would you really rather not have to that I have to? Um, I mean, changing diapers is so cliche. <laughs> so it'd be really nice if our, you know, toddler would actually be potty trained for once. Um, but if I'm trying to think of something that is normal for people to have to do, that one's a hard one because it's hard to, man, dusting. Oh, yeah. Dusting. Mm. I would really rather not dust the mm. house because it's just one of those. It's like I'm just wiping off. I would rather have no decorations than I have to dust those decorations every week. Oh, man. And honestly, that's halfway true for our home. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have very many decorative items because we it just collects dust and it drives me nuts to have to wipe everything down. I, I just don't have time, I guess. <laughs> it's such a time waster to me. So I just. Yeah. I would yeah. rather not dust. I think I think a lot of things that people would rather not do that they have to do are things that are very repetitive. So for me, the real I my least favorite chore, for example, is I don't like doing the dishes. And the reason being is when you clean the dishes, you immediately then make them dirty again. Yeah. And I feel like nice dusting meal. is very, very much like that, where you're for like, sure. I dust today and then tomorrow I have to dust again. Well, not tomorrow. I would go like a week, but visually a week i can see plenty of dust starting up again like and i'm just like mm. there are so many other things i'd really rather do mm. like i'd rather spend my time doing something else and it doesn't take us long but yeah. we also just don't have all the decorations to be honest yeah. so so okay there you go guys <laughs> uh, i know that it was maybe seems a little bit different than what we normally do in a video but that's to show you guys how we can use gerunds and infinitives when having natural conversation about our likes and dislikes and, and paralanguage involved with it. So but that was not really sh not really doing too much exaggerated stuff. There's a little bit because we're acting as if you're a third person watching because, I mean, you are. But that's just one of those things. It's like we're talking about interests in a group setting. What does that look like? Hmm. There you go. It's a great example. So if you guys like this kind of video, this is a concept, an idea that we have that we want to pursue, ideally creating a series called Grammar Games, where you have a lesson, a video lesson earlier in the week. And then later in the week, we release something that is a conversation game that maybe you can redo with your own family or with your own English club or English class. Let us know what you think about that, because we we enjoy that. We enjoy games. So it'd be a really cool way to practice English. Yeah. So let us know in the comments below. And again, stay patient. We'll keep on creating video videos for you guys. And yeah, and yeah we'll, we'll see catch you, you guys time. on the next one. Bye. Bye.